Into the night, I see nothing but stars falling. Into the night. Hi, angels. So, um, I thought that it would be fun to do like a weekly vlog for you guys. So, um, I'm gonna do a weekly vlog, and just happens that this weekly vlog is basically gonna be a lot of maintenance appointments for me. Um, yeah, just they're all like in a row so i thought it'd be fun to kind of show you guys and go along with it um and show you guys where i go where i get things done etc so as you can see my lashes yeah they have like shed a lot so i do get eyelash extensions um and i get them at molly lash um in carlisle in perth western australia i love her she's indonesian um like me um, and yeah, she has her own lash business. She used to be a home business, but then she started um, and opened up a shop. And now she has a lot of lovely ladies working for her that she trains herself, which is amazing. Um, she's done so well for herself. But yeah, her shop is so cute. It's like all pink. So that is tomorrow. But for today's agenda, um, I'm going to Cosmetic Surgery Clinic in Subiaco. And I'll be getting top up of like my lip filler um i know you guys probably think like my lips are like haven't really gone down or anything but i feel like i've lost a lot of volume on the bottom and i just quite, kind of want to make this shape more natural i guess like i'll talk to the nurse about it etc to see what she can do um but yeah i just have a few issues about it so i think i just might get my bottom lip a little bit bigger just like i've lost volume i reckon but I mean, they look a bit juicier because I do have like um, a lip balm on, like a, like it's drawing attention and catching a lot of light on them. Um, but also I'm getting a top up of my wrinkle relaxers. So I don't get Botox. They actually do Dysport. Um, I'm pretty sure they do Botox as well, but I've um, only ever gotten Dysport once before. Um, and I just got it in my forehead. So yeah, I'm going to get it in my forehead and then just here where crow's feet kind of form um i know i like i obviously don't have wrinkles like i'm still i'm turning 24 i'm still quite young but i like to do it pre for preventative measures um so people can definitely get like wrinkle relaxes like D botox and disport um just to prevent wrinkles in the long run because it's always better to prevent than try to get rid of things when you um when they occur basically yeah so i feel like i totally believe that like it's so much better to prevent so i'm very big on anti-aging especially now that i'm like you know almost 25 halfway to 50 so yeah <laughs> i mean i don't really notice a difference when i get like my disport um my wrinkle relaxers put in or anything like that because obviously i don't have like any wrinkles visibly anyway um but yeah i just feel like I do train my head not like I do train myself not to move my forehead to create those little creases that you can get from moving your forehead but I, I just like having it there for like a security knowing that my forehead like won't move so that um like won't move much so that I won't create those lines if you know what I mean so I just feel like better having them done <laughs> even though that's like yeah might sound weird to some of you but I mean it makes me feel happier when I have it done um so I think I might have something to eat and then I'll head off but I'll definitely yeah I'll film the procedure and stuff what I'm getting done but yeah I'll take you guys with me so I know this is probably not the healthiest breakfast but um I'm craving this so sometimes I do get cereal when I'm craving it sometimes I don't have cereal every morning um normally have eggs or something but I just got some Nesquik um, and little Fruit Loops underneath there because um, I had just like a little bit left. Well, they're kind of called Rainbow Rings from Woolworths, but they're kind of like Fruit Loops in a way. And I use um, almond milk. I never drink normal milk because I stopped um, drinking normal milk probably like when I started uni actually, to be honest, when I started buying my own groceries, etc. because I feel like normal milk makes me really bloated. Like I don't like it, like the f it makes my tummy go all weird. So I've always been drinking like um, almond milk, the unsweetened. And I just get whatever one, to be honest, like whatever's on sale there. I don't really 
notice any difference between them. But I do like this one, the So Good Almond Milk. Yeah, so that's the unsweetened version. Um, I wanted to show you, I got the, the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. They're one of their newer foundations. It's like a really beautiful, like, your skin but better glowy foundation. Um, and I think I got the wrong color because I was on the Mecca website and I was doing like the color match on there. Like you can find your shade basically. Um, and yeah, you can like type in the foundation that you like the color you normally wear from like a different brand. And then it'll say the corresponding color in that foundation that you're wanting to purchase. And it says that I'm 2W1 Macadamia, but I got a 0.5, which obviously is a, like a more neutral pink undertone. I'm definitely yellow um so yeah i think i might go change that in mecca but i'll take you guys with me i'm heading off now so yeah i'll take you guys with me So guys, I've just got home. Um, I went to the city for a bit. Oh, I don't. I wish I could film and vlog in the like in public, but I just get so scared to talk sometimes. I wish I could because then you could come shopping with me, but I just get too scared. So um, I did um, have a look at the foundation for the um, the Laura Mercier foundation shades, and the one I got was actually a good match. So I did pick that at the end of my shift when I last worked, just quickly. I was just trying to pick a colour because, um, yeah. Um, but actually, I do like that colour I picked. It's a good colour. Um, the other one that they recommended on the shade matching on the website, it was a little, like, too pale, I think. I mean, maybe if I got really white, but I'm actually getting into, like... Like, I bought recently um, the Bondi Sands, like, um, tanning mousse, so... I've actually never ever tanned in my life um, but I don't know why it's intrigued me lately because obviously in summer I lose a lot of color and then like I go from really dark to like really not really pale but you know paler than what I normally am so I can't wear that foundation or those shades anymore really so then I always have to have different shades for my foundations um, so I thought like you know why don't I just tan and keep up my tan so I can keep using the foundations that I like that are more my tan colors basically so I thought I'd try it out because I've never really done it and a lot of obviously a lot of girls self tan um it's better for your skin than tanning and it's not like I can get any sun really in winter in Perth so yeah but guys as you can see my lips are really swollen so this is what they look like when they're swollen. To be honest, I do like them when they're swollen. Um, I When I first got my lips done ever, I was like, oh my god, my lips are like so big. And I used to get really self-conscious when I first got them done. Um, but, I mean, they obviously will go down because this is a lot of swelling. But I love the shape she did. Um... The nurses are amazing at Cosmetique, sorry, that's where I go, Cosmetique Surgery. Um, they do like, you know, a lot of fillers, like cheek filler, they do wrinkle relaxers, they do lip filler, they do fat dissolving injections, just like a lot of different things. They even do like breast implants, so if you want a breast augmentation, they do that. And they also, I'm pretty sure they do like tummy tucks and stuff as well so they do all those cos cosmetic procedures and if you guys mention my instagram name michelle liana you'll be able to get um discount off your treatments so it'll save you some coin um so yeah use that if you are in perth and or just anywhere in australia because they do have clinics all over australia so use my instagram name michelle liana to get discount i'll put it right here but um yeah, so my lips will go down. I'll update you over the couple of days um, after. 
but yeah that's what they look like but yeah i love them i love going there and i get wrestling by the way guys it does last me but i feel like because i do go to the gym and um have kind of high metabolism so it does break them down that's why i wanted to get a top up because my bottom lip was losing a lot of volume and i always find whenever they inject my lips like this top lip on this side always very sensitive and then the rest i can't feel the injection at all because they basically do numbing injections like they inject um inject an anesthetic into your gums so you really cannot feel anything like it's not just topical numbing they don't do that they inject um anesthetic so you really cannot feel anything like well personally i do not feel anything like it's yeah it's crazy how i literally can't feel anything when she's putting the needle in it does not hurt at all um but if you are a lady and you are on your time of the month it can be a bit more sensitive um because obviously when you're on your period you're a bit more sensitized to things so yeah just to just to let you know if you are on your period you might be a bit more sensitive um but yeah i'm just gonna go grab some parcels um at the post office and i've also ordered some uber eats i think it should be arriving now so i'll show you what i got oh also guys i did get rink relaxes so i don't know why i always forget to mention that but like you can't see like a big difference when i do it so i always forget that i have it done if you know what i mean um so it will kick in um within like two weeks it'll take two weeks to kick in um so as all rink relaxes do whether it's disport or botox or anything like that only once before got my forehead done they said that i didn't really need cross the crow's feet one right here but i decided to just get it done because i do notice like you know when i laugh and stuff i do get those lines there sometimes and i obviously don't want that to stay there <laughs> so yeah um yeah i got crow's feet and then my forehead done it doesn't hurt like they don't numb you or anything like that she just cleans you off um with a sanitized like wipe and then they inject um just feels like a little prick to be honest it doesn't feel like um it doesn't hurt a lot so don't be afraid if you are worried about that um but yeah it does kick in um in two weeks and yeah that's my preventative for wrinkles fine lines etc i was thinking about the bunny lines but personally like i don't really like i don't hate them like when when i scrunch my face and stuff i actually like them personally um oh my ubra he's here they i always put in my description come upstairs but they never come upstairs they're always like i have arrived okay well can you ring me into com so i can let you in <laughs> So I ordered um, from the Futsal, Futsal Cafe um, in Coburn. Um, oh my god, so cute. They put little hearts on there. But yeah, I ordered ravioli with garlic bread. And then I ordered like a bacon and egg and hash brown sandwich. Um, I, yeah, was craving pasta, basically, and carbs, which is um, not ideal, obviously, for my diet. But yeah, I do sometimes treat myself to mcdonald's every now and then and when i'm feeling like it but yeah today i felt like pasta especially ravioli i love ravioli and i was craving garlic bread really badly so this looks so yum so this is my ravioli it's a bit of in the shape of a bowl at the moment because i just um took it out of the bowl oh my god the garlic bread's really nice because it's that like really thick like sh shea butter um sea butter bread and then hash browns with my little buddy Hmm. I might not eat all of this. I might save some for dinner as well because obviously my tummy is quite small. I'm always like, my eyes are always bigger than my stomach. So <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely be saving some for dinner. Let's do a taste test of the ravioli. It's a bit hard as well to eat with my lips because they're quite tender. Um, they're not as bad as like when I first used to get them done. But I've gotten used to the pain, I guess, over time. But just yeah sometimes like it's hard to chew because yeah the lips are a bit tender but yeah so this is the ravioli i would 100 percent recommend this place it's quite cheap as well like the pasta and the garlic bread wood together they come in a combo 13 dollars. like how good is that and then the um 
the butty and the hash brown as well, $13, so cheap. I'm back home now from getting my parcel. Um, I didn't finish all my food, as you can see, it's still there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna save it for dinner and like for tomorrow and stuff. Um, so the parcels that basically were at the pass uh, at the post office, sorry, um, were parcels for um, my business that I'm starting up. So I'm starting up a little um, online shop, um, and basically it's gonna focus on like hair clips, um, kind of like these. Actually, I have some here. So like. Like the really pretty big clips that are really in right now. And then the that's a really pretty one. That one's like, um, it's like a white with silver foiling in it. So pretty. Um, with gold detailing. But yeah, basically. Just waiting for all those clips to come. Um, and all the stuff that, um, yeah, I basically ordered. I can start taking pictures and doing hair of like, um, some models and then I'll take um, some pics from my Instagram so have some professional pictures um, So yeah, I'm just waiting for all that to come but basically The packages that I'm going to be sending out the um, the clips in of okay, came I don't want to show you because like it's really cute So I don't want to show you the color of them um, ordered some stuff like ordered some new sneakers and Stuff from the Gymshark sale. Oh, I'm so excited for that. So guys, I thought it'd be fun to show you what I got today. Um, so yeah, um, I didn't exchange it. I just kept the same color. I was just watching the different colors on my hand just to make sure um, in case I opened it and used it. So this is the Flawless Lumia Radiance Perfecting Foundation. Like I said earlier, it's such a beautiful foundation. Just leaves your skin glowing um, and looks really healthy and I got the colour W 2W 1.5 Bisque so yeah there you go so I went to Priceline because I wanted to grab um, my Garnier Micellar water and I was gonna get the jumbo size um, the you know it's like the $20 big the jumbo size micellar by Garnier that's the one I've always used and I love that I feel like it just works and it takes off basically um everything like my liquid lip my um eyeliner anything like that and it's very gentle I don't feel like it like irritates my skin or anything like that but then I saw that I always like you know brows and press them because obviously there's so much in there um and they had like 40% off on some things and I love getting their stuff like whenever they have sales, they have really good sales, like 40, 50% off. It's amazing. Um, so obviously, like I was talking about before about self tanner, like, well, like tanning foams and stuff. Um, I was looking at Bondi sand. So I grabbed some things, um, because they had 40% off and it was literally like $5 for the mitt like ten dollars for the bondi sand so i was like you know what i'm just gonna try it because yeah i've never tried it before so i just thought i'd try it so i got the reusable self tanning mitt um just to make my application smoother because yeah it's always better with a mitt they say it just gl um glides the tan on better i was speaking to some of the ladies in there and um they're all kind of you know steered me towards different tans um in the bondi sands range because they have a lot and i was really confused i was just like okay which one's the best one for me because i mean i don't want to go too dark but then i do want like i do love a tan and stuff but i don't want to go too dark my um ethnicity is um my mom's indonesian so i do get quite dark i mean like my face and stuff is paler because like you know i wash and scrub my face but then my body like my body's quite you know olive already um, and this would be like a tan for like paler girls in a way. So the lady was in, like showing me the light to medium and then um, I got that one and then I got the Aero, the new Aero foam that they released. Um, so I bought them and then the other girl, I was asking her about it and she was just like, oh, like the light to medium might, might not be dark enough for you because it pretty much is like the color of your skin tone already. Like 
it's not going to get you um, that dark because I'm already like a little bit tanned. Um, so she said for me um, to try the dark, the self tanning foam in dark. So she said this one is like a good one um, because, yeah, it's just like an all round um, favourite from Bondi Sands. Like a lot of people like this one. And yeah, obviously you can adjust of how dark you want to go of, um, by like, you know, how long you leave it on the skin. And then I wanted to grab a second one because, you know, they're on sale. What if I end up loving, you know, self tan and then... <laughs> I have to buy it full price, so I might as well just get it on sale, so, um, but then, yeah, I can just, even, even if I don't like doing it and I'm not consistent with it, I can just do it for events and stuff, so I just thought I'd pick up another one while they're on sale. Self Tanning Foam One Hour Express. So this one's a popular one too, because obviously this one is like a really fast developing tan. You don't have to wait like, you know, a long time for it to um develop and yeah if you forget to do it the night before etc um but yeah that's the ones i got i might have a read and google about like some and maybe watch some youtube like youtubers <laughs> watch some youtubers um some youtube videos or anything like that about self tan or what ones the girls use i know shiny grumman loves bondi sands but then a lot of people like loving tan i've seen um, I mean, there's so many on the market, but I mean, Bondo Sands is Australian owned, so yeah, I just thought I'd try Bondo Sands because it's the one I know about um, the most probably of her or have heard about. But um, the Aero Foam, that's the most recent one, and it's pr apparently it dries down really quickly, but it does take like six hours to de like to develop to a darker tan. Rude. Someone's calling me. One sec. Okay, sorry about that interruption, um, but yeah, um, that one was intriguing. I mean, I know that, I don't know if I've heard a lot of people if they like that one. I know, like, a lot of it was bought in the store because I think it's a newer tan as well, but the girl, like, hadn't really used it and she said that she hadn't, I mean, she hasn't really heard anything about it, if people love it or anything like that, but yeah, I just picked these two up because, yeah, she said those are the most popular. I just got some paracetamol as well because, yeah, whenever I get headaches, I'm a wimp, so I have to take some um, pain relief, and I'm almost run out of my Panadol because I've had, like, um, really bad headaches lately. I don't know why. It's weird. I think it's just not drinking enough water and stuff, but, yeah. So, the last thing I got from Priceline, so instead of the Garnier, I got the Nivea because this was, like, on sale, like, way cheaper, so I was, like... Is this good? Like, I don't know. I've never, like, ever used this one. Has anyone used this? Like, if you have, let me know if you like it. But it's like the Garnier Micell Micellar Skin Breathe um, Micellar Water Face, Eyes and Lips. More oxygen in it than the other Garnier Micellar Water. So, I don't know. Um, I did read reviews when I was in the store. And um, the reviews, yeah, basically people said that they liked it. So... I hope I like it and that it removes my makeup properly. Why is my phone going off every second? So rude. Anyways, the next things I got, I went to Mecca because, um, obviously wanted to return the foundation or switch for a different colour if it was the wrong colour. Um, but yeah, I didn't end up doing that. But yeah, I was looking around and I've been eyeing these for a while. So the three inches hair range from, um, they sell it in Mecca basically. Um, this is the brand three more inches so it's basically like um they're kind of known for like healthy hair care um and i was really intrigued by the exfoli like exfoliating range for the hair so like right now like exfoliating like scalps um scalp scrubs and stuff like that are very in because like they, they um the same thing is why you exfoliate your body and your face and stuff. You want to remove that dead skin cell so new skin can come to the surface. And the same with hair. Like you can get like product build up and stuff in your scalp and also can prevent your hair from growing. So if you're using like scalp um, exfoliators and stuff like that then it's actually really good for your hair because it gets rid of all of that and then it helps your hair like stimulate the growth and blood flow in your scalp. But then also, if you suffer from dandruff or dry 
a dry itchy scalp it also will help that because you know you're getting rid of those dead skin cells and stuff so yeah i recently bought the exfoliating shampoo i haven't used it yet but then yeah i went in and bought the treatment as well so it's, it's this is the exfoliating scalp treatment so this one you can leave on your hair and yeah it's like a treatment so it has like protein and really hydrating ingredients to promote hair growth why is my phone going off so annoying rude anyways so yeah that's that one um i'll use that with the shampoo so you put this one on and then the shampoo i believe yeah, I think so. And then even before that, I think you do the pre-wash treatment. So this one is with cashmere protein. So it's um, basically going to rebuild your hair bonds and um, keep your hair healthy and hydrated. This also has like great hydrating ingredients in it as well. Um, and amino acids just to like help heal your hair shaft. So yeah. That is the pre-wash. So basically, yeah, you put it in your hair. They say this is two or three, two or three goes. So this is the mini size. They have a bigger size. So it's basically like a hair treatment you put on before you have a shower. And then it like preps your hair for like, you know, everything else you put it, like your shampoo and conditioner and stuff. But it's supposed to give you really great like ingredients and stuff and promote hair growth. So I just thought I'd try it. I'd try the little one first in case I don't like it. But the reviews are amazing. I When I was reading the reviews, I was like, wow, okay, well, I'll try that. The clinic I go to for my facials, I don't know if you guys know, but I go to the Skin Nurse Clinic. I probably talk about them a lot because I love their clinic. They are amazing. The ladies there are so beautiful and lovely. I love going to them, getting my treatments and stuff, um, and just talking to them about skincare. Um, so I get like skin needling done there because I want to target like scarring and pigmentation in my skin just to get an overall clarity in my skin and I'm so much happier with my skin now than I was before like I feel like there's so much more clarity with my skin and like the texture is amazing and just glow luminosity pigmentation as well as like the skincare that I've been using um after that like post and um pre-treatments I feel like it's just made such a difference to my skin and so they had like a deal on for their vip customers aka me <laughs> obviously they have a lot of vip customers but you know i'm one of them i think um but yeah um so they had buy one skincare product and then you get 150 percent off so i was like yes please because i'm always like replenishing my products and going through them and then also trying out new skincare so i was like yes please I'm gonna hit that deal up. So I got these products. So this is the Hydrate B5 Intense that I've used previously. Oh my gosh, what am I doing with my hands? Um, you guys know this, I love this product. Why is it not focusing? There we go. So you guys know I love this product. I was sent this by Medic 8 ages ago. Um, and I've, yeah, used my one up. So this is a new one to replenish my hyaluronic acid serum. So this one's great because it has three molecular sizes of, um, hyaluronic acid. So it's really gonna get deep into your skin and hydrate and plump it. And as well has amazing, um, ingredients to strengthen the skin barrier and just, yeah, make your skin very healthy, strong and hydrated. Amplified version of the original Hydrate B5 from Medic 8. So Ashley is um, one of the a lovely ladies at the clinic and she talks to me about all like skincare and stuff and she like is literally like she knows pretty much everything about um, every product in that clinic. Um, so she, I was kind of unsure what I should get for my second product so I was asking her about a few things that I had my eye on. Um, but she recommended this for like my skin like you know what treat the treatments I'm doing and stuff. She obviously knows they all know my skin what's working for me and like what i should be adding into my routine to make my skin look better the way i want it to so um this basically she recommended this so this is the booster so this is basically like a peel um booster that i put on when i'm sleeping and it basically is like in a way like a, a face mask well 
um, I put on while I'm sleeping and it just makes your skin apparently look so luminous, smooth and like radiant, like so beautiful um, and bright. It helps pretty much everything. She said like um, pigmentation, um, luminosity, everything like that. It's just like a great little booster with great ingredients. Aesthetics, which is an amazing brand. They use all their... Um, they're like serums and like stuff like that in the clinic um, on their patients. And yeah, so basically it says clarifying and illuminating gel, um, glycolic acid 10% and phytic acid 2%. So yeah, super excited to try that. I'll let you guys know how that one goes because this is the first time I'm obviously trying this one. But yeah, let me read the booklet. Like, the reason why I'm talking so weird is because my lips, like the, the anesthetic is like wearing off. It starts to like, um, I can feel like, you know, a little bit of, not bruising, but like, it like thro throbbing and like bruising a little bit um, after. Because obviously I've had like a bunch of needles going everywhere on my lips. So it just is a bit tender and it just feels weird to talk and like pronounce certain words and letters and stuff but yeah that's that's why i'm talking weird and i can't like speak properly um but yeah so that is all that i got today so yeah that was my little mini haul for you guys Hope you guys enjoyed so yeah i'll check in with you guys later loves so i just got back home i just want to show you my outfit so can't really see her mm. um i'm wearing maybe it's better if i show you guys over here so i'm wearing pants from cotton on these are like fleece line leggings so they're much um warmer than my other ones they have like really cool paneling on the bottom there but they're really warm they're on sale i think for like 20 dollars so they're part of the um i think they were just doing like a sale on the permanent range like 30 percent off or something um, and then, so I'm wearing these really cool, like, white sneakers from Cotton On as well. Um, because I didn't want to ruin my Adidas Falcons in the rain. These are literally, like, $20 on sale. And they're kind of, like, Balenciaga kind of style with the laces and stuff. Jacket is just, like, a puffer from Cotton On as well on sale for $40 shirt from zara and it says extraordinary simple look and i really like it because it's like a long sleeve um so it's a nice like a thin long sleeve to just wear underneath like you know bigger jackets the uh, bigger jacket <laughs> can't talk bigger jackets like this for winter so yeah and it's like a little bit longer at the back but it is a little bit longer at the back so you can cover your bum a little bit which is which is great um because it's a bit awkward sometimes when you have shorter jackets and you just have leggings on i mean you feel a bit revealing in a way <laughs> so guys my lips are so much better today i feel like they are not as sore i did take a paracetamol as well just so that you know i won't have to deal with pain but it, they're not really sore at all i did eat earlier like after my eyelash appointment um oh yeah i did go to my eyelash appointment i did film a bit so i would have already put it before this but i did i did eat and it, it's really hard to like like bite down on something especially if it's bigger like a burger or something like that or like a sandwich it's really hard because yeah your lips are still kind of bruised in a way um but everyone will obviously bruise differently pain tolerance is different so yeah it's um not everyone will experience the same as me some people might experience worse or less um but yeah this is how my lips are looking you can see there's some bruising just where the needle has um been in like into my lips um yeah a bit cringy but 
yeah they look nice and juicy and like plump i quite like them i actually like them swollen i know a lot of people don't but i think once you start getting lip injections you actually end up really liking them swollen um but they always say if you like them swollen then the size they are swollen is an extra mil so you should go back if you want the size of how big your lips are when they're swollen basically but yeah these are my lashes really really fluffy and she made them a bit longer and just um a little bit more cat eye because i prefer when there's more like on the a bit they're a bit longer on the outer edge than longer in the center um i just yeah i like that look on my eyes like when they're a bit elongated i did go and get some like bread and stuff there's a bakery there that's really good i got I got like a chocolate chip muffin. I swear in this vlog I've been eating so unhealthy. But yeah. Don't mind that. <laughs> um, and then I got like rolls, multi-grain rolls. Because they were literally like $2.50 for all of these. How good is that? And I got two chicken tenders for lunch. So yeah, that is all. <laughs> now I'm just gonna chill maybe watch some Netflix I might fold the washing and stuff throw some stuff out in the garbage and just do some housework and stuff because my flat is like oh yeah <laughs> kind of messy at the moment um just haven't had time to clean it because I've been working a lot so sorry I haven't checked in guys but I've just been cleaning um my apartment um so I mean it's mostly my bedroom that gets kind of messy, but yeah, my living room is basically always, yeah, it always kind of looks like this and the kitchen's always relatively clean. Um, but yeah, so I've got some washing on and um, I've just cleaned my room. Like I had a lot of washing on the floor here in a basket, so I've just folded them all. I'm trying to clean my... Um, yeah my makeup desk have some black clothes from work that I need to wash but yeah it is much better than it was before and I just like organized some stuff in my bathroom and just put some shoes away um and yeah I mean I feel like I need more storage for this oh I need to fix this light because these lights like keep falling down so don't mind that <laughs> but yeah um I did redo this whole wall because um yeah it was just looking really messy and my I was just it just wasn't organized so I did redo this wall and just yeah organized all my like designer things on display there and I moved my rug and cleaned it a bit um, but yeah that's all <laughs> so I've cleaned it sort of like it's really hard to like keep this really clean because I just don't have enough room in my drawers I feel like I need to get another one of these or I should have just got the the nine instead of the six but yeah damn guys oh so i brung all the washing i mean sorry the rubbish down that i had right there so i just have one box left and i've taken the rubbish out as well um i've washed the bin um so i've washed the bin um and yeah dry and I've just like emptied my vacuum so it's like vacuuming so much better now um, and actually sucking things up so yes um, what else am I gonna do oh yeah so I'm waiting for the washing to finish and then I'm gonna put it in the dryer um, and then I'll put the clothes away in the cupboard and I'll probably put some more loads of washing on and then probably make dinner and watch Netflix. Yeah. Hi guys. 
so I've um, basically put all like my clothes and stuff away I've thrown out all the rubbish um, I put another set of washing on the other ones in the dryer and I just have my towels and sheets to put away now um, but yeah the flat's pretty much clean I think the only thing I have to do is like tomorrow I'm probably gonna do the shower bleach it um, but I have a very very exciting um, appointment tomorrow something that I'm doing for the first time and I've never done it before so um, I'll share more info with you later tomorrow so I'll film it all and stuff like that um, the whole process and yeah um, but I'm so excited for that I don't want to say too much because um, yeah I just want to tell you guys tomorrow so keep watching <laughs> hi guys morning so it is saturday and i'm gonna head off to my appointment why every time i talk on the camera my phone goes off rude anyways <laughs> um i'm gonna head to my appointment um and i'll bring you guys with me so you know what i'm doing I know right who is she like seriously though I feel like I'm a different person like look at my hair oh my gosh I am so happy so um I did get permanent extensions well not they're not permanent but you know what I mean like what are they called? They're called permanent extensions, right? I mean, like, you obviously can take them out and stuff, um, but they stay in your hair. They're not, like, the clip-ins or anything like that. Um, and this is the first time I've ever had extensions. I've never had clip-ins. I've never had anything like that, ever, because... But people that do know me personally know that I've always had long hair. I've had long hair my whole life. I cut my hair short, like, three years or two and a half years ago because I was just so sick of my long hair and um, I actually chopped my hair like really short like to here um, it was after a breakup like ages ago um, basically I just wanted a change and I chopped my hair um, but my hair used to be really like I've always had naturally quite thick hair so I used to have long thick hair um, and just ever since then I've obviously like I like my head lighter so I do get foils and stuff and you know with foils bleach it ruins your hair and I've always just kept been like been cutting my hair 
um, to get the dead ends off and keep it healthier, but then it's just never grown to how long um, that I used to have it. So I'm going to explain to you guys why I did get extensions and why it kind of struck me to get them, I guess, because I don't know, I've never, like personally, I've never been into extensions because I've just always had thick, long hair naturally, which I'm very blessed and grateful to have because, um, yeah, I just, you know, was born with it. It was in my genes. I don't know why, like I was just Googling stuff, like researching as I always do, looking on Instagram and it just struck me because I've been trying to grow my hair for so long now and keep it healthy, but it's just taken so long. Like it has grown a lot since obviously I cut it here. It's like probably to here now, um, but obviously I've chopped it like along the way and cut it shorter to like get rid of the dead ends and stuff like that. And I've obviously been using really great products to keep it hydrated and um, strengthen the bond stuff. Like I use Olaplex all the time as a treatment for my hair, um, etc. I was just scrolling one day and it just struck me like why don't I look into getting extensions because I'll be able to get the length and thickness as well as like mostly what I wanted is the colour because the reason why I dye my hair so much is because I have naturally quite dark roots and dark hair like I have like you know dark brown hair naturally. I like my hair lighter just in general like I feel like it suits me better and people have always said that like they love my hair lighter it's always suited me especially when I'm tanned or if I'm like lighter I just feel like it just suits me and I love the warmer blonde as well because I used to go quite ash blonde when I started dyeing my hair when I left home and started uni and stuff I started dyeing my hair and I used to be that ashy blonde and I mean, I did like it when I was really tan, but when I was quite pale and lost color, then it kind of washed me out a bit. I just decided to get extensions, especially for the color, because that means I don't have to dye my real hair. I can just get like extensions that are the same color as my ends, and they'll always stay healthy and stuff as long as I look after my extensions. Um, and I don't have to dye my real hair. So underneath, I can grow my um, real hair um, and obviously you have to get pull-ups and stuff every eight weeks for um, ex Like a permanent extension permanent extensions like this clearly you can get any color um, Thickness length you want so I did book in for micro wefts and I booked in for the natural set because I thought you know the glam set I thought I just didn't need it um, but when I went in and had my consult, um, so I actually went to Lux Label Hair Artistry in Subiaco, Perth, Western Australia, um, and Crystal is the owner, um, there, and she did my hair, and she did a fantastic job, and when she consulted me, she basically was like, yeah, your hair's really thick, you will need the glam set, but, um, I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do that at the moment, but she, um, basically was like, okay, well, we could do a full head and a quarter. So we basically did that. She did the micro weft and then she put some tape in shorter ones just at the front here. I think she put two, um, two on each side um, just to add some thickness here. So when it's at the front, it all blends together um, and looks more natural. Um, but yeah, majority at the back is obviously um, micro wefts and micro wefts are basically um, she had to put the little beads in I think and then she sewed the cotton through to um, basically create the like bracing in a way where the wefts like they um, attach to and that's how they stay in your hair. Um, and the wefts are very like thin so they don't feel bulky at all like if you guys can see they look very natural and just smooth and they don't feel bulky at all um, and yeah so she went um, and matched my hair so we did two different colors she put like a lighter blonde and basically a warmer kind of blonde light brown in a way um, but we did stay quite warm because you know that's how my hair is naturally here at the roots and fades down. Um, if you can see, that's my real hair there. And they match perfectly to the extensions. Like, yeah, so she had the, the perfect color extensions to match my natural hair. Um, 
I was thinking when I first got in, um, when I first went in that I would have to tell her to maybe tone my hair because I thought my hair was a bit brassy but she said that she loved the colour, the colour was still great um, and it looks very natural how it's faded out from the roots um, and that I, yeah, I, we didn't really talk about toning because she said that the colour was beautiful and that if we match with the stent extensions then it would just look so beautiful and natural all over and multi-toned um, but yes I did get 20 inch I wanted 22 inch um, but I feel like 20 inch actually is gr is a good length I didn't realize how long it was um, but actually yeah, I really like this length I think probably 22 inch would be too long for me because from going from short hair and then it's like whoa um, I feel like a mermaid like when I have my hair from behind like I feel like a proper mermaid <laughs> if any of you know me personally my hair was this length before and I used to be this color too like I feel like it's just like how my old hair was but it will be able to stay like this because this is not like my real hair it's obviously like extensions I don't have to worry about dyeing or anything like that I can just touch up the roots and with like some foils and yeah once it grows out and stuff oh like I'm so happy I'm so so happy so she did say that I will like after I wash my hair I'd have to like blow dry and straighten it and stuff just to keep the the bonds and the cuticles um like together in a way because obviously your hair gets frizzy and stuff um and it'll just make it look smoother so she did go over it and straighten it all and to flatten obviously my natural hair is quite like puffy naturally so she went over and straightened it all once she cut and blended it in um and then she went and curled it because she said it would look so nice like curled with this color so yeah she went and curled it for me um and i'm not supposed to wash these my hair in general for two days because um especially like the tapes um she said it should be fine but normally when you get tapes and stuff because it is like tapes are like in a way like tape so you have to let the adhesive and stuff like adhere because if you add water and stuff it might loosen the tapes and the tapes will fall out um but yeah i will be going back um in eight weeks time to get a pull up and she said if i'm um wanting more thickness because my hair is quite thick naturally i can i can take more hair and i can add more extensions if i want more thickness but she said once you wash them they thicken up as well so she said just to wait want more thickness and i can when i have my pull up then i can add um more extensions and she'll add another row for me um and i think a few more tapes and stuff just to add more fullness but i'm really happy with that at the moment like so so happy because the extensions are right up to the root I might get a headache and stuff later later on but I'm feeling okay now I feel like it's not too tight or anything like that she said also you're not meant to tie your hair up for two weeks like really tight because it might ruin like and pull at your real hair and stuff my top is from cotton on I did put this in my lookbook as well actually like all of these items I did put in my lookbook apart from my shoes because I can never get like my full body and, and my shoes and my lip books which I need to figure out how to do but basically this jumper I wear all the time work to work and stuff it's like a really slouchy beautiful jumper from Cotton On um, and this top that says Shania Twain has Shania Twain on it <laughs> yeah it's from Cotton On as well I've just knotted it and tucked it under this skirt is um, Billy J Boutique I think yeah, so it's just like a knit skirt and I love it. It has like a little slit in the back so you have some room so it's not like, you know, really tight when you're walking. But it's so nice and warm for winter and it makes you look very like chic and put together. Um, and then my shoes are from Cotton On as well, I think. I got them on sale but they're just like... Um, little platform white sneakers and I like to wear them with my knit skirts because I feel like platform white sneakers look the best with knit skirts they look a bit more sleek and give you a bit more height and make your ankles look like you know snatched <laughs> my lip stick is driver seat by smashbox they're always on liquid lipsticks um I did draw some freckles today I do like doing that because it makes my makeup look more like if I'm wearing a full like a more glam look and like a lip it makes it look more natural like it's like my actual freckles 
Um, but yeah, how good are my extensions, by the way? I'm like loving them. Debbie's the owner of Molly Lash that I go to for my extensions. She didn't actually do my extensions this time because um, she was fully booked um, when she rebooked me for my refill. So Noella, um, she's new to the salon. She did them and she is amazing. Like I'm so, so happy. She was so like precise with it and took her time and really like listened to what I wanted. I said I wanted a bit more cat eye on the outer edges to elongate my eyes and she did such a fantastic job. Literally like none have fallen out. Like you know the extensions are good when um, none have fallen out even 24 hours later. You know they're gonna last and the glues like really you know adhere to your lashes. Also my lips, um, they're not as sore as they were like obviously the first day and yesterday they weren't as bad either and today especially like no no pain really unless like I touch them the fill is obviously still settling um, they're still like tender, tender to the touch so obviously kissing and stuff like that and like even like when I do my like um, my lip scrub and stuff it's sore to touch and they're a bit firm because the set like the filler needs to settle and soften in the lips um, but yeah they look great you guys can see yeah I love the I actually love the shape just had all of my appointments like in a row coincidentally they just happen to be that way so i thought it'd be perfect to film for you guys but basically yeah that's all the maintenance that i have for this weekend um and yeah i don't have work till monday now so i'm just gonna chill i film a video as well while my hair is still great um <laughs> while the curls are still in and stuff i'll check with you guys later guys i just filmed a monthly favorites for you guys um so that will be up before this video. So hungry right now, I might go eat. Oh, my stomach's like grumbling. So it would just be mostly like beauty. Um, and there's one clothing item in there that's shoes and then like technology and food. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you haven't watched that, go over and watch that. That was my previous video. Hi guys, so fast forward a few days, it is, um, what day is it today? Thursday? I think it's Thursday, yeah. Um, I didn't vlog because I, I was working the last three days. Tonight, I was spontaneously invited to, um, a skincare seminar, the Environ skincare seminar, so they're going to be talking about all the products and about skin, um, and I think they're getting one of their um, world-class doctors in to talk about it, which is really, really exciting. I think he's flown into Perth to do a skincare talk. So, um, yeah, I'm really flattered that I was invited. Um, the Skin Nurse Clinic, they um, invited me to go with them and just, yeah, because they know I love skin, everything about skin. So, yeah, <laughs> they thought I might want to go with them. Um, so this, that's really lovely. I'm so flattered that they invited me. But yeah, I'm super excited. Like, if you guys know me, like, I'm so passionate about skin. Like, I just love everything skin. Like, I love makeup. But I feel like your makeup doesn't look good if your skin isn't at its best, if you know what I mean. Like, I feel like skin just plays a big part of how your makeup looks. Um, especially, like, complexion-wise how the complexion products sit and yeah a lot of foundation pro problems like complexion problems with makeup um always lead back to skin that's why i feel like skin is so important um because it's all it's never really the foundation it's how your skin is um which is making the foundation look a certain way or play a certain way um on the skin so yeah that's why i feel like skincare is so so important into the night, I see nothing but stars falling Into the night, I see nothing but stars Into the night, I see nothing Hello guys, it is Friday today Um, But it's like super, super sunny It's a beautiful day today, so Yeah, um, this will be the last day um, that I'm vlogging, but yeah, I'm just gonna go and get groceries, pick up parcels, stuff like that. So, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, 
there wasn't obviously that much going on the last couple of days but yeah i hope you guys liked it and enjoyed what you um did what so if you guys like the video then yeah just give it a like um and subscribe comment below if you want um so yeah that would be really helpful but yeah um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye